Hey, yo, it's your brother iTunes Bra, A1MC's in the place to be, man. I got another special guest, man, the homie Rob J. What's up, what baby? Up, what up, man? How you doing, man? Hey, man, I, I feel honored, man. You know what oh, I'm saying? Man. I'm in the presence of greatness, man. Oh, man. Hey, thank you. I, I appreciate that, man. Hey, man, so, uh, you know, I, I know you do a lot, right? I know you do a lot, right? So uh, just kind of break down to the people. Uh, uh, you know, we're going to get into the show uh, in, in a minute. But okay. um, outside of that, man, let's, let the people know some of the other things you have going on. Um, I mean, mainly, I... Uh, I'm a web developer, uh, working the university system there, and I try to be uh, not just a web developer by day, but you know, try to be a resource for people who uh, you know are interested in uh, technology, whether it's just learning about things on the inside, whether it's exposing them to other people who have you know stories, who have uh, you know opportunities available. Um, and then I podcast as well, and it's uh, just Rob J's show. And I've been blessed on there to be able to, I, don't, I had this, ever since I was a little kid, for whatever reason, people would just, I could just meet a stranger and they'll just start telling me their, <laughs> like, their deepest story. Right, like, right, you know, right. uh, so, you know, I've been able to sit down with some amazing, amazing guests uh, from, you know, black woman, Bria Sullivan uh, at Google. She's in the Smithsonian. Um, right. You know, people, uh, John Saunders, he's a brother who's, who's, Sold, I think he sold three e-commerce uh, companies right now. He mm -hmm. has, uh, you know, when people talk about making courses and generating revenue off of that, he um, he has over four thousand paid students on Udemy, and these are like these are you know, ninety-nine to a thousand dollar courses. Uh, he's probably one of the greatest resource free resource providers. I mean, on the internet right now, um, and I mean, just week after week, I've had Parsons, you know. Uh, TDE, Kendrick Lamar's tour of So it's just been just been blessed with a, a lot of really yeah, interesting people. You know, yeah, you done had yeah. some haters, man, coming through. Yeah, man, it's just been a blessing, man. So, so I'll be looking, man, and be like, man, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I can compete, man. Oh, no, man, but it's not, you know, it's not always about, like, though, I mean, I, you would be a great fit because it's really it's really about, like, authenticity. Like, I look so, at myself as an authenticity. I'm, I don't really see myself as an influencer. Right. I see myself as a, a, a an authenticity brand where people, a person can look at me and feel like, hey, that is somebody who is truly representing, you know, a truth that he, you know, identifies with. But, you know, and so I connect with people like that. You know, Christian Pope was on my podcast. He's a good friend of mine, but we talked about DUI and uh, his path to sobriety for, you know, an hour and a half. You know, right. didn't, didn't mention any, you know, business stuff. So, yeah. or, so it's not like, you know, anything where it's a you have to be someone doing this or doing it. i just like interesting people and i always right. you know I always have most of that man and um you know man anybody that know me on social media man y'all see i mean i don't just have a whole bunch of people but i got a lot of people on my page man uh so you know a lot of times you don't really read anybody stuff how the time or you know how the uh the facebook matrix do it give you the same people yeah, uh yeah. that you see uh over and over yeah, uh but you know you you're one of the people that you know uh you know i i find myself typing my your name in to go see what you oh, post hey, man, man. Hey, I, I because uh, man. man i i, I, I appreciate yeah. uh you know what I'm saying some of the thoughts that you 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 put out there uh, and you know, you kind of like me, you aren't necessarily afraid to see where that line is, yeah. uh, within the, the conversation, uh, not being disrespectful, but asking the questions that people are afraid to ask publicly, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. of what backlash may come to it, man. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and I, I appreciate you that. Yeah. And you know what? I, I will say I have noticed a, it's just, it's been small, but there's like a small trend of like the, the far, I don't know what you call it, like the left of the left, but like the. <laughs> The you know I don't want to call them angry, but the whole men are trash. They calm down a little bit a yeah. lot, and a lot of them yeah. offline are kind of like you know, you know, not necessarily like you know refuting what they were saying, but I'll say that the waters are starting to where okay, we can right. have a conversation and not all, all right. oh, toxic, know, toxic, yeah, toxic, yeah, toxic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, I was surprised your boy Joe Biden made it through. Man, they tried to you know. Uh, Man. You know, um, a lot, a lot of people have been brought down. You know yeah. what's going on. Uh, and so Joe, Joe's still winning the polls right now, man. Man, uh, uh, but man, um, you know, it's a lot, a lot been going on uh, in the culture. Uh, you know, particularly um, surrounding uh, Nipsey Hussle. Yeah. Uh, you know, great brother. Uh, you know, gone too soon. Mm -hmm. uh, but man, um, 
Did you uh, did you get the chance to hear the uh, or hear the interview or hear from the the brother that was with him when he got shot? Yeah, uh, <laughs> I mean I can't knock him because he gets the, these interviews by heart. It was Vlad. Right. Yeah, right, so, right, 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 right. Yeah, right. but uh, yeah, I heard that interview and man, that's crazy, right? Yeah, and I mean How you, he gets shot, and they say that well, well, first of all, they said that by him taking a picture and being with Nipsey Hussle. That's a violation of his parole because he's associating with a known gang member. Yeah. And this isn't a known gang member. This is a person that is an advocate for his community mm -hmm. and was set to go meet with the police chief the next day. Yeah. Uh, so then he gets shot and then um, and he says he goes to the hospital. Uh, you know, everything is, you know, what he thinks is fine. Mm -hmm. Then all of a sudden he starts getting these calls from these parole officers. Yep. And, you know, his parole officers say, you good. Next for all officers say you good. Yep. Then somebody else above them comes and say, "Hey man, you got to come down." Yep. And uh, right now this man is uh, he's actually in a wheelchair because he's been he's been shot. Uh, and he, no pain medicine. They said they not giving him any pain medicine. Gave him Tylenol. Man, that is crazy, that's crazy like, bro. Man. And that's why I say I, the more I've been able to learn, uh, even before Nipsey, but like L.A. culture and like like their relationship that they have with law enforcement and stuff going on there. I mean, like. It really make us look like utopia compared to like mm -hmm. some of the, some of these environments and i'm not saying houston police officers are, are angels or or you know devils but i'm just saying that uh some of the things that they're dealing with gang injunction laws not being able to i mean i've heard you know there's something almost like 80 to 90 percent of you know inner city you know kids from those communities are in gangs so how could right. you not associate with a gang person if you that's your whole neighborhood. Man. Whole family. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Uh, so, man, just kind of switching it, uh, switching it up, man. I know you got your ear to the street, man, and, uh, you know, what's what's going on just on the, the Houston independent uh, music scene, man. What's uh, what's the state, you know what I'm saying? Because, uh, you know, I had some, uh, some artists on, and I was asking them how did they feel because, you know, you always hear this. Uh, people from Houston don't support the artists yeah. and everything else like that. Uh, what are you seeing? Because I know you'd be out there on the ground, uh, you know, I mean, in a lot I of these see, places, bro. I mean, I really feel like it's <laughs> it's really in a place where you have to go and get it, you know, whatever it is that you're trying to go get. It's not like a – Houston is not a chance encounter market. You know, it's a, you know, you work your relationships, but – I think a lot of people here, so for me, I was able to come here, but come here having experienced other uh, other hip hop markets and stuff. So I think, you know, sometime in Houston, people don't really truly grasp the idea of what All Out really looks like. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, when some people say that they grind, I mean, like, you know, I've seen people that literally for four months straight go out every I mean literally they go to the studio they go out they go they go work a record they leave the record they're trying to go to lunch with the guy who they met the day before they like I, so sometimes a lot of uh but Houston always had uh I guess I don't know if the, it's probably a better word but Houston in the beginning had enablers where all you needed to know was a screw all you needed to, and I think it changed to where you now you have to build it on your own a little bit and I think a lot of guys uh maybe just don't didn't necessarily understand what that process looked like once the uh once the music industry changed from you know a selling a CD out of your trunk that was a very that was a a, a very authentic model that resonated with with people in neighborhoods cuz we've been selling stuff out of our trunks our whole you know our whole life even you know some legal some illegal that's just a part of our culture right. once it started becoming you give it away for free but then you do it i think that's when when things went digital, that's when a disconnect came, and then that's when I feel like the Houston artists made a fatal flaw when they started caring about status more, more so, or wanted to be the hottest more so than wanted to have the the most money or the most the the most wealth generated from it. And um, you know, I think and that kind of set off a little bit of a downturn. But I think now when you have like someone like Toby uh, yeah. in his tour, I had. I had uh, Reeks and Linnell. That was the last episode, actually. Um, I mean, you people, you can't say that something can't be done when there's somebody right in front of you doing it. Right. So, um, 
Most deaf, most deaf, most deaf. Well, man, bro, I appreciate you coming through, bro. How can people check out the show, man? How can people follow you, man? How can people support you, bro? Oh, man, you can check out the podcast. It's uh, robjshow.com. Uh, and pretty much if you just search that on Google or anywhere, it'll it'll come right up. Uh, my my Instagram is robj10x. And um, and that's really pretty much the, the hub of everything right now. Facebook is just my name, Rob J R O B J Y. And, um, you know, you can find me there. Most deaf, man. I know uh, we out of time, man, but I know we got so much more to oh, yeah, uh, build no, on, man. Definitely. Uh, we definitely got to uh, yeah. have you back up here, bro. Uh, you know, like I said, man, you're welcome anytime, man. Hey, no doubt, no doubt. Appreciate uh, you know that. Appreciate I definitely got to come in and sit in, man, on, no on one we'll of these shows. see man. how you do it, man. Your brother, iTunes, Ra, A1MCs. We are A1.com, man. Check us out, man. Peace. K to the O A O Uh Yeah Yeah I put in work It built my confidence I put in work Isn't it obvious